Alternative spring breaks are becoming more and more popular amongst college students across the country. We recently reported that students from CSI made a service trip to Washington to serve for their break. Well, there's something bringing students from other colleges to our community, and that's the CSI Refugee Center. Ariel Harrison has the story. A group of students, predominantly from the University of Idaho, decided to spend their spring break learning more about the CSI Refugee Center. A lot of us just aren't really well informed about the whole refugee system in the United States, so we all felt it'd be better to get a first-hand look and just, you know, have the hands-on experience just because that's the best way to learn anything. Garcia is a senior at the University of Idaho. This is his third spring break and fifth service break trip that he's been on. Bree Kelsey is a student at Washington State University. Kelsey tagged along with this U of I group hoping to learn enough to bring similar trip opportunities to her own school. Me and one of my coworkers and my supervisor um, partnered with them and we're all on these different trips. Today the group spent their time working on the refugee garden at the Episcopalian Ascension Church. We're just basically kind of clearing it up, pulling weeds and cleaning up any garbage just to kind of get everyone a head start on starting to plant there and everything. The work this group is doing at this garden today is just one of many projects they've done throughout the entire week. Working directly with the Refugee Center, they help sort donations to help make funds more readily accessible to refugee families, as well as met with students from both Canyon Ridge High School and Robert Stewart Middle School to hear their stories. A lot of times you just hear about just refugees that you just hear that in general or just numbers things like that and just learning the people behind all that was really important and helpful. It's been really a powerful experience just because I literally knew nothing about this process before I came here. I've met so many great people. Um, I really connected with several refugees and, and their children and it's just really been amazing to see that there there's people just like us. In Twin Falls, Ariel Harrison, Idaho's First News.